So setup wise, like I say, is looking really, really good, okay? Some of the drills we've gone through there now, I'm just gonna try and remind you with, okay? The one we found was a success there was with the flags, was the flag stick behind your right foot there. You could put anything, a stick, a golf club, probably a golf club, not a damage club, but maybe an old club if you've got one, that would do the job absolutely fine, okay? And the feeling obviously there, that all these drills are trying to get this club to come down more on this angle. What you had in the past was you hit the golf ball, Take is okay as you come into the golf ball now, head kind of moving back up and away as you can see. So everything at this point is going kind of up there and up there. So sort of leaning back, head up, shoulder up, doing this. Now it's not keep your head down as we said the first instance, okay? But everything's moving back and away. Your hand's now way ahead of the golf ball. So if your angle of the shaft and your left arm are like so, the club can't reach the ground. So the club comes in impact, tops the ball and the ball just pops in here. The club's gone past the ball and the ball's on nowhere because you just literally click the top three or four dimples okay whereas this one okay good again top of the battery is absolutely fine as we start moving down now good strike of the ball we can see moving on to that left side now it's a little scoopy i suppose there but i don't really dislike that if it actually squares, squares the club is that okay but the body now moving onto that left foot a little bit more. You can sort of see a shift there in your weight, your knees and your hips moving onto the left side. If truth be told, it could go a little bit more. But I think at the moment, small steps, feeling what, comfortable. What, 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 what well, a bit, a bit more kind of shift if you're... Of, of weight. If, yeah, if your left okay. side there. So if we put a line there through your left foot, what we'd really expect is your left hip to be on that red line at the point of contact. Okay, so you'd be kind of right. a bit more kind of here over to that left side okay. not back here kind of this and then coming through a little bit later turn more of a turn it's, it's more of a shift, shift. Okay. then turn okay? okay well a lot of golfers they try and turn the hips they go back and they go and turn the hips but they're just leaning on the back foot rather than that way and then around okay but i say all these drills you do the dragging drill the, the other one we did at the end there where we put the impact bag so like so yeah. you would set up with the club in that position and then just drag the club to tight if you flick it with the wrists okay you'll do that the club's off the ground in the air okay. if you drag it through properly and your hands go through with it yeah. like this and you start shifting your weight the, the club will still be quite vertical okay. in a much better impact position okay, okay? we don't be sort of closing or rolling the arms and sort of flicking it this way because yeah. that move is going to cause you more than the top of the ball okay yeah. so if we can get on top of the ball as we said coming down covering the ball getting that shift onto that left side all the things we do it's a stepping drill this way whether it's sort of the the bump shift drill we move to the left or we swing the club down and then at the golf ball the dragging drill whatever it may be whichever you feel okay that felt good and what i would say in practice try a few of them just try different ones and see which one works from day to day they might be different one might work better tuesday one might work better on friday I don't know. <laughs> just a variation from day to day okay but all we're trying to do all the purpose of all these drills is to get you feel like you're striking the ball more on a downward angle to the golf ball, not an upward lifting angle, okay? This lifting angle is okay if the ball sat up really well and said the longer grass. Yeah. On the ground, no good. Off a par three, you can tee the ball a bit higher. Happy days. Get a nice little blue tee on the castle tees and just lean back and ping off the top there. Yeah, golf's easy. Yeah. Then on the grass, it's no good. No. Okay, you get that sensation of striking down, whatever it may be. Put the stick there, you said, is a good one. All these things are going to help. That's very okay, helpful. makes sense, yeah, yeah. yeah? Okay, good, well, excellent. Yeah. Like I said, do please, honestly, I said again, if you're down the range in shots and it's going a bit crazy, just put your phone on maybe the wall somewhere, or a bag, or just get ask, like, do you want to film my single two yeah, like, Someone's, I don't know, I'm trying to mind, just film my single send them a coach, whatever. Film it down the line, face on, boom, send it to me. I can have a quick go. Hang on, hang on, James, you're doing this again. Or you've gone back. Well, that's a new thing. Like I said, when we talked about your hands getting down here and just dropping your arms, you went. <laughs> and dropped your arms by bending your knees. Yeah. To drop your arms, drop the arms. Don't try to add a move into that to try and get your lower half to get yeah. down there. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Good stuff, yeah. right, mate?